All right, this morning, driving in uh, to my hunting spot at the hunting camp. It's uh, Sunday. Had fish tournament yesterday. Uh, got down here last night at the hunting camp. And uh, just going in this morning for the first time, bow hunting season here in Georgia. Uh, I'm, I'm going hunting, but I'm really not. Uh, I got to put my stand out and uh, look at my food plot, check some cameras. But uh, if I can do that in a decent enough time, I go hunting. I brought my bow with me. Uh, so, yeah, that's just what we're going to do. It's been real dry around here, so I'd be surprised to see what my food plot looked like. And I'll give you guys an update on that once I get here. So, all right, I'll get back with you guys when I get to my food plot. Thank God we got decent roads that we can almost drive right up to our food plots. Well, I, I can, I will be later on when I put this stand out. So that's one thing we try to keep going is the uh, opening up of these roads here. I do have one little tight spot up top that I need to cut some overhanging bushes, but I can get through there. But, uh, you know, everything goes down the side of my truck, so. So I'm gonna drive up here close as I can. My, my food plot about another 100 yards uh, past this spot here, so. Like I said, I'm getting a late start. It's, shoot, 7.22 now. But we'll get her done. <laughs> Have you ever been in a, a situation where you just said, okay, I'm going to take these loppers and just cut these two, three bushes out of the way for my, so I can get my truck down my trail. Then it turns into this. That's one pile. Another pile. And what I'm working on is, as you can see right over here, it used to be a lot of bushes just hanging over this road. And every time I would bring my truck in here, it would scratch it up, so I said, well, I'm just going to trim a couple of them now. I've been doing it for the last 30 minutes, and that's them all sweaty. Breathing hard, but uh, like I said, it's been that way for you know, ever, ever since we had this land, so years. It's about time to take care of it, so just want to, <laughs> to come and vent about that for a second. I guess I'm going to get back to work. Oh, right now I'm on that uh, food plot that's the little cut that's behind the side of my food plot over here. Uh, I just finished putting out the stand here in this tree here. You can you can barely see it right there. Uh, I don't like the location for the tree stand itself, but as you can see, the food plot little strip is not doing well at all uh, all I have is a couple little pieces of clover coming up uh, in this whole row which I planted almost a month ago well, a good three weeks well August the 20th yeah and it's the 18th now so it's about a month ago I don't know how much rain we've got down here. 
but I know it rained a couple times for sure, but hopefully we can get some rain on this. I mean, some good rain for, you know, a couple days, multiple times a week. Because I hope my uh, big food plot doesn't look like this, but probably is. Everybody else says their food plot's not coming up right now, so hopefully we just didn't get it in too early. And uh, hopefully we don't have to do it again. We'll see. I'm going to get over to my uh, big food plot and see how it looks. Okay, I'm on my uh, food plot right now. I'm finishing this video on my GoPro I had in my truck. I didn't think I had in my truck, but uh, the food plot doesn't look too good. As you can see, we got growth just a little bit here and there. And I think these are the uh, tall time tubers that's actually growing here. And the problem, the reason why it's growing because it's in the shade a lot of the day. And as you can see, it's a couple of, uh, I believe that's the one of the peas coming up, but they don't, they don't look too good, like they kind of dried out, so. I think we'd be alright if we get some rain here coming up. I think the weatherman did say it's supposed to rain next week, a couple days, but they hadn't been right yet, so. I'm going to go over here and just change the cars and my cameras. As I look around, I don't see too many tracks in this uh, food plot yet. Yeah, because there's nothing growing here. There's nothing to eat for, so I don't plan to see too much. Yeah. I mean, the, the what's growing now is nice and green. They not dried up and wilted, so hopefully I don't have to do this again. Hopefully we'll get some rain and it uh come on in. I got a little growth over here. I don't know exactly what that is that that. I don't know if that's the tubers or what, but I, I pretty much probably think that it is. Because I only put clover, tall time tubers, and uh, the winter peas on here, so it's got to be one of the two, three. Uh, like I said, I, just looking around real closely, I see, you know, little bitty stems or something coming up, which is probably, like I said, again, the tall time tubers because they grow pretty good you know just from what I did last year right out here we see some winter peas in this little group walk out a little further here to the middle as you can see like I said this it's coming up but you know this is a a month worth to grow which ain't it's nothing <laughs> it's just really nothing to tell you the truth I'm going to go on this back side of this hill because it always grows good on this hill over here. See what, how's it looking over here. I just want to stop and see you can that's actually clover yeah I thought that was one of peas but that's actually clover clover like the tall piece of clover
Yeah, on this back side, this hill, it never really grows that well anyway. Except for this, this side here that's in the shade a lot. As we can see, over here in the shady part, was I'm pretty sure, like right now, it's almost 10 o'clock. And you can see that the sun is just hidden on that side. And the sun comes from this way. Uh, so this part is pretty much in the shade. I would say probably to, to at least 12 o'clock when the sun gets straight up. But like here, we got some good tall clover that's been in the shade, you know, not getting that sun, that heat on it. Yeah, but I don't see a deer track nowhere. This right here, I don't know if that's the winter peas or that's just the weed. Guess I'm just gonna pull one up and see. See, that's in there pretty good the root wise. Don't know. But we'll see how it comes on for the next couple of weeks. Hopefully we get some rain. Uh, I'll be down probably next weekend. But I don't see it doing too much from here to there. But we'll check back on it and see. Guess I'm just going to go over here and change these cars and these cameras. These are the new uh, Spy Point Force 10s. Like I said, I, that's all the cameras I use is Spy Point. They're real good cameras. And I, I, like I said, I do all videos. I don't do any pictures. And uh, they work most of the time, you know, pretty good. Uh, I got a couple that's five, six years old. It doesn't, they're not working too well now because, uh, you know, they're just old and just wore out. So this is my first time checking this. So I'm just going to see if it says what's how many pictures on it. It says right here in this corner. It's 21 videos, photos or videos and I use video so it's 21 on here. And the card is actually right here. I'm going to take the card out, put it up there not to get mixed up with the new cards here in my hand. Just put the new card in right here where it says start camera. I'm just going to hit OK. Hit OK. I, and there she goes. She's ready. Oh, see. Let me leave that up there for I won't mix it up. This is a different kind of card, but uh color card, so I won't mix that up. Let me just go to the other side. I got one on the other side here, and what it's looking at, it's just looking at over this side of the, the food plot. And this one is just looking on this side of the food plot. I got a lot of deers that come out of that little hole over there on the other side of that food plot right there so that's why I got that pointing that way all right let's check this other camera here and like I said it's simple or easy just open that up on the front side here hit OK to turn the camera display on right here on this one it says it's 33 uh, videos on this one so I just get the card out put it up here put the new card in start camera uh oh hit back uh, I won't 
wants me to say video. I need to check that other one because that other one didn't do it like that. So make sure that one's still on video. Okay, we made, we're good and armed and ready to go now. So we'll get the uh, cars off top. And uh, I think we're good to go. As you can see on top of that, those two pine trees right there, I got my tower stands in the middle of it. Right now I got the, uh, the top and everything off of it. I was going to put that on right now but i think i'm going to wait to next week uh like i said right now it's both season gun season doesn't start till uh i believe like october the the 10th or something like that that'd be muzzle loaded then then week following that would be gun season so no hurry to put that on i do need to get the Deer's uh, used to seeing it again. But uh, I think that'll do it. Get back to the camp, try to get me some breakfast. So, as for the food plot, right now it's disappointing. But hopefully we can bounce back. I think we will, so. All right, guys. Wait for the next update. Thank you.